What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, coming back with a bit of a different video about mushrooms. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a mold problem that we have. Now, if you uh, if you voted on the poll, you would see that I was growing 10 different types uh, at the same time. And this was going all well and dandy until I checked on them. Uh, and more importantly, it's the grain bags. Now, I've had these grain bags for probably six months and I haven't used them. Um, which may be the problem. But I don't believe so and I'll show you why in just a minute. Well, you know by the title of what we're really talking about. Um, but I didn't see the same problem that is with these into the BRF cakes that I have. Uh, I guess I could show you them. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Hold on one second, guys. All right, here we are in the colonization uh, little chamber here. This probably won't turn on because of the light that's on in here. Um, what you can see here, these are growing just fine. There's no problems at all. Uh, that was just one I grabbed real quick. Here's another one. You can see here, there's no problems at all with these. There's no mold. There's no nothing in there. Uh, they're growing just fine. There's zero problems at all. All right, let's go cut back to the uh, to the table a little bit. Now, all of the syringes that I got, uh, 10 in total, actually I have 11 of them, but the other one's used for other purposes. Um, out of all 10 syringes I got, the ones that I put in the BRF uh, jars are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. So I can rule out syringes as the problem. Now I'm going to show you what the problem is with these in just one second. But I want you to see very well, very clearly that we do have growth. Mycelium has grown uh, very nicely. You can see it. It's perfectly fine. But the problem takes place when we turn these bags over. And this is why it's so important to check on your bags at least once. Uh, or not once. Uh, at least once every other day or once every three days. Uh, you want to check them often but not frequent if that makes sense uh, so let's go ahead and turn these bags around here and if I can find the spot first for you before the camera uh, trying to find a good spot to show you I guess this one's pretty decent here uh, you can see that sorry about my fingers too you can see that little red red spot right there uh, you might be thinking, Breezy, you're crazy, you are delusional, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, there's also a few red spots, there's one right there, uh, one right there. Uh, you're saying, Breezy, you're, you're probably delusional. Alright, let's check out this one. Uh, well, it's a little bit more apparent now. We can see we have a red spot there, red spot there. Let me see if I can find any good ones. It's not showing up too well in the, under this light. Uh, red spot there, red spot there, red spot there. We shouldn't have that. That should not be there. And I think there's a better example on this bag here. Yeah, we got a lot more on this one here. I'll try to point them out to you on the camera here. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. We got a bunch of them down here. That, that that you can see they're all right there along to the these are rye berries they're all on the rye berries i'm trying to get as close as i can without uh blurring the image any but you can see this red spots here and visually looking at whoops visually looking at it uh from outside the camera it's very very apparent very apparent like all these spots right here are super super clear um yeah if i can I'm trying to get the best picture for you guys. You can see it pretty good right there. You get the hint here. Now, what is this? It's not a mold. It's actually a fungus. And uh, this fungus is called Fusarium. Now, Fusarium is kind of tricky because it's a... Uh, it's not a... Uh, it's a pest, uh, basically. You would get rid of it or prevent it by pesticides. That's how you'd get rid of it. Um, now, there are ways to kill this. You can kill it by um, bleach, of course, because it's a fungus. Bleach will definitely kill it. Or you can kill it by extreme heat. Now, this is where I think the problem lies. If these bags were put under extreme heat, such as, oh, I don't know, maybe pressure cooking, sterilization, um, you know, 
pasteurization, extreme heat, this problem would not occur, which is why I believe these bags are actually um, contaminated. And I I don't want to say too much. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that, Make let you guys make your own decisions. Um, but that that's basically the problem. And to rectify this, I'm actually going to let these grow. Uh, I don't recommend eating anything that comes off these, but I thought it'd be a cool little experiment. I already got them in the bags. They're just kind of chilling in the corner. Uh, I've removed them from the colonization drawer, I guess you could say. Uh, these have been removed, and uh, I, I figured I'd just let them grow. I just want to see what happens. Uh, I think it'd be really cool, and I think this video will be helpful for some people who maybe have that problem because it's not very uh, popular on the internet this isn't a very common problem but hopefully it will help some people out here and yeah, try to get you a good picture of that there it is right there that's a good picture of it all that red right there so like I said I've bought eight more syringes I do have them on the way I just bought them um, so don't worry about the uh, the massive growth series that is still gonna be going uh, and if you want to watch it if you want to watch them the BRF grow series you can go ahead and subscribe to my other channel easy breeze of mycology um, and of course if you guys want to know where I get my syringes from and all that you can always email me or hit me up on uh, discord or anything like that but I think that's going to end this video off here. The, the biggest takeaway is make sure that you check uh, anything that you're doing very thoroughly. Make sure you, you get in there close with the light and everything and, and just really check them out. I got these right as they were growing. So I have no worries about any sort of contamination to any of my other products that I have. And I think that's going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching through this video. And if you made it to the end... Uh, can uh, yell out breezy for me. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.